Uh, hi there, this is Miles from Light Harvest Solar. Um, I just wanted to show you uh, a test of this uh, new Battleborn 100 amp hour 12 volt uh, battery I got in yesterday. Uh, it's the uh, 1st of February 2018. Um, so test one, fabulous, turned out good. The battery got to me uh, nice and charged, but of course I wanted to top it up. Uh, so I plugged it in. Most of these have a top of 14.6. Um, they've got a printed uh, spec of 14.4 on this, which coincidentally enough, absolutely perfectly matched this um, here converter. So it's basically a charger. Uh, what happened, which is uh, what I, exactly what I want to see, is that the battery came in with a 13.3 volt charge. Uh, which means it was uh, pretty good, pretty, basically full. The, um, I put a converter on, I, I put the charger on it, charged it. Uh, it took about 20 amps for a few minutes, continually went down as the voltage came up. Uh, the converter, you know, down, 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 down from in about five minutes from 24 amps to almost zero. It's maintaining it at 14.4. So basically what I wanted to do is get a nice full charge on this uh, that's known because I want to test this against other batteries. So I brought, uh, it's a 14.4 volts. So you can see the, the amperage, the, the, this is working properly too because it's bringing the amperage way down when the voltage comes up. So as the voltage came up, the amperage went down until the point where it'll eventually just turn this off, hopefully, and uh, float it at 13.8 or whatever it is. But... Um, the real test is to know what this thing will do when the converter is turned off. When the power comes in, it's going to stay at a nice high voltage because it's full. When the power is no longer coming in, it's very typical to see the battery drop a ton. Uh, it takes a little bit of time with a lead acid battery. It'll go from like if you pull the power off immediately, if you can. If it will go to 13.3 in a minute, then that's pretty good. If after half an hour, it goes down to 12.8, that's about typical. Okay, so the rate of decline of the voltage is a really good indicator of the battery's health um, and how strong of a battery it is. So we're gonna, that's what we're testing now. We know it's full. We want to watch how far down, uh, not how far down, how, fa how far this goes down and how fast it goes down. Um, with no power coming in. There's hardly any power coming in as it stands. So I'm just going to pull this out. We should um, see that drop. This is apparently not calibrated super good. I'll just take it off because at this point it's irrelevant. Um, but there's no power going in anymore. Um, let me, let me just calibrate my fluke. I'm a little bit curious if anything is coming out into that converter, like back flowing. So, so anyway, we're at straight, we're at zero. Okay. Nothing's coming in. Nothing's going out. That battery's a 14.4. And I gotta say, I think that's probably the first battery that I've ever seen that did not drop a couple points when you, uh, pulled the power. So that is, um, real impressive so hold up uh, let's just take this off take this off I'm gonna lose my meter here for a second but um, anyway I think uh, that that's pretty impressive how it stands I can see it's gonna take a little while to, to really see what that'll do um, so I'm not gonna take a big long video but needless to say I think that holds the new record for how much that declines off of a full charge. That's uh, pretty good. I've never ever seen one that didn't drop at least a point, you know, a, a point or two. A lead acid battery will drop a, a whole, uh, let's see, 14, the whole volt in like really fast. So um, there you have it. The Battleborn 100 amp hour, 12 volt lithium iron phosphate battery passes its first test with uh, uh, setting the benchmark. Thanks a lot, Miles, lighthaversolar.com.